Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. In today's exciting video, we're going to sand and polish this cold rolled carbon steel sheet to a mirror finish. The first thing I'm going to do is take our Luma Cut, place it in our spray bottle, and then we're just going to mist it all over this carbon steel sheet. Next, I'm going to take the 220 grit sandpaper place it on our hook it pad, which is attached to our drill. Then we're going to spray a little bit of Aluma Cut on it, and then we're going to begin sanding. The key to sanding is not to spend too much time in any spot or area, or you'll create divots in the metal. Be sure and use more pieces of sandpaper if you need to. Now I'm going to take the isopropyl alcohol, I'm going to place it on the Scott Blue shop towel, and at the end of every sanding step, I'm just going to wipe away all the spare aluminum dust. Next up is the 400 grit sandpaper, and just like the 220 grit sandpaper previously, we're just going to place it on the hook -it pad, spray it with just a little bit of a luma cut and once more begin sanding next we're going to take a, another 400 grit sandpaper place it on an interface pad place it on a hook -it pad and once more begin sanding Now we are ready for our 800 grit sandpaper. And like the 400 grit sandpaper previously, we're just gonna stick it on our interface pad, place it on our hook -it pad, and once more, begin sanding. Now it's time for the 1500 grit sandpaper. And just like the 800 grit sandpaper previously, we're just gonna stick it on our interface pad, Stick it on our hook -it pad and once more begin sanding. Now it is finally time for the 3000 grit Trizac foam finishing pad. We're just going to place it on our hook -it pad, spray it with just a little bit of a Luma cut, and once more begin sanding. Next up is the 5000 grit Trizac foam finishing pad. And just like the 3000 grit Trizac foam finishing pad previously, we're just going to stick it on the hook -it pad, spray it with just a little bit of a Luma cut, and once more begin sanding. Now we are finally ready for the final sanding step. So we're going to take the 8000 grit Trizac foam finishing pad, place it on our hook -it pad, spray it with just a little bit of a Luma cut, and once more begin sanding. If you used a little bit too much Luma cut like I did, be sure to take your time with the isopropyl alcohol so that this cold rolled carbon steel sheet is as clean as possible. Now we are finally ready to begin buffing. But first we're gonna take the Miger Soft Buff Polishing Pad, place it on our hook -it pad. Then we're gonna grab a Scott Blue Shop Towel, place some Gord's Aluminum Polish on it. And then we're just gonna rub it into the cold rolled carbon steel sheet until it is dark as possible. Wait for it to dry. And then we're gonna lightly hold down the trigger on our drill and buff this polish until it reveals a mirror shine. Be sure to buff as often as you need to, and then just grab a Scott Blue shop towel to get rid of any spare polish. Now it is time to protect our finish. So I'm going to take the Bling Master Bling Barrier Clear Sealant, I'm going to place it on a Scott Blue shop towel, which I had previously sprayed with water to make it damp. Then I'm just going to rub it into the cold rolled carbon steel sheet until it is dark as possible. Wait for it to dry, then I'm going to wipe it away 
with another Scott Blue shop towel. I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.